Hey everybody, GMP here for our fourth princess. Now this one was also selected and for some reason I didn't think of any of these princesses. I'm like so upset that I didn't think of any of these. So if you know Adventure Time, they have tons of princesses and right outside my head, didn't even think of it. So someone picked Princess Bubblegum. Now I was trying to figure out what to do with Princess Bubblegum and like one of my other characters I did in the past, I was thinking of making her the clown. But she's already pretty and pastel and pinky and, you know, super cutesy. So I was like, mm, let me think of something a little more spooky. And I loved how when she had her hair separated, as far as artistry goes, I love how when she has her hair separated, it turns into little locks with the little bumps on the bottom. And I thought that was so cute. And I was like, you know, if she had tons of those little locks, it would look like little feet. So hence our bubblegum spider princess. I think it absolutely came out great. I didn't want to give her too much of a spooky spooky look because she's just a cute little character and I absolutely love her. Um, so I just kind of did little things that made her spidery like the spidery webs on her shoulder and on her hair as well as I tried to make her headband look like it's all the eyeballs of the spider so it looks like all the little gems are her eyes and she can look around that way so she's still spider-esque it's more like Princess Bubblegum going to a Halloween party than she's actually a spider, but I thought it was absolutely cute. There was a different version I was going to go, but it was a little too horrific for, you know, the style, which if anybody wants to try to do that horrific style, go right ahead and let me know, you know, just DM me on Instagram and I'd love to promote it because I would love to see it myself. Anyway, you guys, here is Princess Spider Bubblegum. Hopefully she doesn't get caught in your hair. And talk to you guys later. Bye!